Hello everyone, I'm the Amazing Pongo. I know what you're thinking. How can a dog read my mind? I'm not a mentalist dog, I'm a mental dog. I can't read your mind. Oh wait, I just did, because I knew what you were thinking. I'm feeling a bit animated today. I'm projecting my thoughts into your head. Can you hear me? I'm the mental talking dog. Much more impressive than a seeing eye dog. It's amazing. The amazing Pongo. I can do magic too. I can make money disappear and reappear in my poop. And Roy didn't teach me that trick, but he did pay the price of being the audience when I made it reappear. He wasn't as impressed as I thought he would be, but he did teach me a few tricks that I would like to share today. But first, let me check that I'm getting the right vibes from you. Mike, could you please take a card out of the deck of cards there and don't look at it? Okay. Does anyone know what is on the other side of that card. Okay, good. I'm still putting thoughts into your head. Here are the questions that Mike asked me to answer. Number one. What do you remember most about Leroy? You know everyone calls us dogs. Man's best friend. But if you look at it, from our point of view, it's mutual. Who could not like someone that gives you a nice couch to sit on, feeds you two or three times a day, gives you head massages, scratches your butt where you can't reach, and picks up your poop without asking anything but love in return. Yes, Roy was my best friend. Sorry, Nedra. Number two. Is there anything you didn't like? Well, you know, Roy used to blame the farts in the computer room on me, but I'm here to tell you it was not me. I never said anything, though. How can you rebut that? Nobody wants to claim they can tell the difference between your farts and the dog's farts. I can't speak for Mary, though. I can't even speak for myself, except when I'm in this animated mode. Oh yeah, and another thing. He used to tell me how much better two of his other friends were, Raindrop and Boro. What do I care how a Bubba Butt Beagle or a Doting Dalmatian act? I'm the Amazing Bongo. Number three. What did you most admire about him? He was a very good hunter. He used to go out in his truck with just his pistol and come back with whole animals already cut up for the freezer. Not even packs of wolves can do that. Number four. Did you learn anything from him? Yes. I learned the pose of shame from Roy. Don't ask me how. He made me promise not to tell. But it could have something to do with me always being out by the hot tub when Roy was in it. Oh yeah, he taught me to laugh loud. You call it barking. Oof, 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 oof. Number five. Do you remember any of Roy's stories? Yes. Every time I would do something wrong, he would say, Why'd you do that? As if I intended to bark right into his hearing aid. But it always reminded me of a story I heard him tell about Derek's high-pressure foot. Roy bought a red Corvette after he separated from Derek's mom, Gertrude. They were at the gas station where Roy got a big coke. Before getting back in the car, Roy gave Derek the keys and said, Give it a try. If you've ever driven a powerful car or motorcycle, not that I have, after being used to wimpy transport models, you know what happens when you put your foot on the gas. You get coke on your ass. That's right, Derek put the pedal to the metal and the coke went as direction. Roy said, Why'd you do that? Oof, 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 oof. 
And if you could leave us with one thought to remember Roy by, what it would it be? That was number six. Woof, woof, woof. Pass the red wine. Woof, 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 woof.